Yes, yes. Birds aren't real. Flies are spies. Uh, that's all I can say. Like, birds during COVID were replaced by government drones. They're no longer real. They no um, it's happening. Anyway, welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Lukadetsky here of WeArcChange.org. And there's so much absolutely crazy news to get into that, of course, we will be talking about today. And it's not just celebrity gossip, as, of course, it looks like the establishment is rolling out all sorts of distractions to cover up from the larger economic warfare being launched against you. There's some major significant escalations in Ukraine happening right now, as, of course, the U.S. corporate media is literally cheering on how dangerous it would be if there would be peace yes i'm not kidding you these are actual coordinated efforts happening right now to undermine any kind of resolution de-escalation and peace deal we're going to be talking about that as well as the new horrifying experiments happening right now at boston university that just created a new strain of sickness that could kill 80 percent of people why are they doing this well we're going to explain that plus a lot more in this broadcast if you like the shirt that i'm wearing you could get it on the bestpoliticalshirts.com and the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is by the very talented, hardworking Viral News NYC. This is his Twitter account. I know this individual personally. And we, of course, will be linking his full videos and channel down in the description below so you could follow more of his hardworking, amazing work on the streets of New York City. As his latest coverage of, of the protest centered around birds not being real is just absolute top-notch hilarious street theater that uh, is definitely thought-provoking to say the least. So yeah, lots of goofs, lots of gaffes. We need more of them, especially more than ever, as even now finally the corporate mainstream media is now admitting that the forecast for a U.S. recession within a year is a hundred percent with Bloomberg economics saying that they certainly see a downturn that will be very significant and you might be asking yourself wait there's already a downturn no there's going to be a, a bigger downturn of, as of course we've been warning you about this from the very beginning of 2019 and beyond the larger ramifications of irresponsible domestic energy policies social spending programs federal reserve quantitative easing insane amounts of money printing that went directly to wall street is highlighting a bad situation that is only going to get a lot worse as the new york post is even reporting today that on average an american has lost $34,000 in their retirement because of the larger economic downturns that have just started and will be making things that much more difficult for everyone else. But of course, shifting blame and personal responsibility, the Biden administration, specifically Joe Biden and himself just a couple days ago, as he was shucking down some ice cream down his pie hole, said that the economy is, quote, strong as hell. Did he mean it's going to be like hell for everyone else because of his irresponsible policies? Maybe, but in the light of all of this news, we have to understand that there's going to be a lot of distractions from trying to get you to understand the true reality of the situation that we're in. And just on time, here comes the New York Times with their opinion article saying, quote, as the U.S. becomes less white, white supremacy could simply be replaced or buffeted by a form of light supremacy in which fairer skinned people perpetuate a modified anti-blackness rather than eliminating it, leaving many people to respond with what? With one of the first comments that has 3,000 likes in response to the story saying, quote, quit obsessing about skin color, you hacks. Jake Shields adds, delete your page. And, and seriously, why is this the topic of discussion when we're dealing with some very serious problems? Oh, wait, there's more. In the United Kingdoms, they're getting rid of the strength test for firefighters in order to make sure that more women are going to be allowed to be firefighters yes how progressive i can't wait for the inclusiveness of me being on fire and having someone that can't pull their own weight literally stare at me as my existence turns to ashes and don't worry if the corporate media is not distracting you enough with utter nonsense with ridiculous government policies you'll soon be able to get high and stoned just by simply going to your Uber Eats application. And as Yoel Harari said before, people in the future will need to be pacified with drugs and video games because they're going to be utterly useless. So hey, 
you got that. And of course, now we also have the latest celebrity news. As today, we're finding out that Kanye West may soon buy Parler, a social media platform. This, after his spicy comments, got him banned from, of course, Twitter and Instagram. And if he does go through with this, this will definitely make a very interesting online social media landscape that probably is going to be a lot more interesting, especially with Kanye West in the space. This, as today, we're also finding out that George Floyd's family might actually sue Kanye West because on a recent podcast he came out and talked about how George Floyd had a high level of fentanyl in his system. He also came out and said some crazy stuff about Kris Jenner and uh, hey, at, at least things aren't boring with, with Kanye West around. And if that didn't make you forget about the doom and economic calamity coming our way, now we're also finding out that at the University of Boston, US researchers there have now developed a new lethal strain of sickness inside of a laboratory that combines the original sickness that was going around almost three years ago now with the latest variant spike protein which created a highly mutated version of this sickness that is also being the deemed the most infectious variant of it ever and in early preliminary studies killing eight out of ten mice that were infected with it this is currently a strain developed man-made with gain of function research happening right now at boston university that is being made public my concerns and my questions automatically jump to, if this is public, what else are they doing that's not public? What else don't we know about here? And of course, there's a lot of ethical and safety concerns when it comes to a lot of this research, predominantly because some scientists argue that a lot of these experiments would never be realized in natural human settings and that there is a huge potential danger that these strains, these man-made sicknesses, could leak from the laboratories that they're being experimented on and of course infect everyone else now of course with these headlines eight to ten people taken out by this new strain obviously is a sensationalistic headline as of course it's also important to note here that if a particular sickness has a very strong lethality this usually means that there's less transmission of it since obviously the host the person infected with it can't spread the sickness since of course he or she or it or whatever the people call themselves now are dead. So a high kill rate usually stops and prevents the spread of larger diseases, but who knows what they're working on right now in the laboratories, as other scientists are arguing that this research is important, not for bioweapons, but specifically in order to research and study possible strains of future sicknesses that might happen in the future, and then develop treatments for them. So of course you are ready if this potential sickness does actually present itself somehow in the future. Again, those are the two different spectrums. Those are the two different sides. I have very strong beliefs on this entire saga. That I'm going to have to say for LukeUncensored.com, our very own platform where we make videos almost every single day just for users. And we will be discussing this ish issue as well as some uh, very spicy comments by Kanye West. We're going to be talking about that as well as a very big development with Miss Maxwell. We're going to be talking about that plus a lot more all exclusively on LukeUncensored.com. If you haven't signed up yet, what are you waiting for? It's very easy. It's very simple. It's just 15 bucks, 50 cents a day. And we also have an amazing forum that's available for you guys here on our own website where you can meet like-minded individuals, have very interesting conversations about health, other podcast t-shirt ideas. I just made two very important posts here about some big decisions moving forward with We Are Change. You want to be a part of those big decisions? You want to lend your voice to what we're doing here? Well, check out LukeUncensored.com. Along with that, you get three master classes, exclusive merchandise, plus a lot more access to future events only available to members of LukeUncensored.com. See you there right after this video. Now, in the making of this video, there have been more and more escalations inside of Ukraine and of course also a Russian border town that has been engulfed with missile strikes and attacks that sadly have been affecting a lot of innocent human beings. Recently, the Ukrainians shelled a Russian border town, and in response, the Russians sent in Iranian-made kamikaze drones right into the center of Kiev, specifically going after the energy infrastructure of that country, as some of the drones even had written on them for Belgorod, written on them before, of course, sending them into the center of Kiev. Now, with these new attacks and so many innocent civilians having their life uprooted it's also important to note here that in the face of this horror in the face of this man-made human crisis there are individuals that are very powerful within the western world 
calling for more of it. And there has been a concerted effort, especially when it comes to the corporate media, that are actually cheering this on and calling for more of it. This as the latest estimate from alleged Western security experts is that the United States is calculating that there's a 10 to 25% chance that Russia will use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. This as today, the United States is planning a long planned nuclear drill all throughout Europe preparing for of course nuclear war and to add to the psyops to add to the insanity of this world and to make the situation worse there are even mainline up ed pieces by insider that have been titled quote putin's nuclear threats are pushing people like trump and elon musk to press for a ukrainian peace deal a nuclear expert warns that's dangerous yes you heard that correctly Insider has released a piece saying that a de-escalation, a stopping of the conflict, a peace deal that ends the war is, quote, dangerous. Yes, this is the sociopathic insanity from the corporate media that is going over the top trying to excuse and justify a full all-out world war scenario. How is peace dangerous? It's not. And their statements are the one example out of many examples of absolutely Orwellian, draconian, nasty, disgusting actions by deranged, neoconservative, bloodthirsty individuals that literally just want to see the world burn. There's no other justification for it. Why would you release this? The Guardian also just released another article talking about how, quote, the West makes plans to avoid panic if Russia used nuclear bombs in Ukraine, essentially detailing the contingency plans by the Western world to not freak out when there's a nuclear war. And again, the prospects of that are, as I've been even estimating, about 20% from, from even future videos that I made weeks ago. But, but, but again, that situation, it, it, it's not a good one. It's an insane one. Our entire existence on this planet as civilization is is in a, a one in four gambit we're playing russian roulette there there's four chambers one of them has a bullet in it why what's the goal what's the objective what's the real reason we're, we're doing this no 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 one no one could, could give that what's the what's the objective what's the strategic interest here what's the long-term plan well we don't know again i i think right now small chance one in four nuclear bomb goes off in Ukraine. I think there will be more severe escalations inside of that country. I, I, again, I'm already running short on time here. I'm going to be speaking about that, plus a lot more on LukeUncensored.com later on today, especially when it comes to the larger kind of strategy that I'm now seeing Russia kind of go forward with right now. And again, very complicated picture. I hope I did somewhat of a service trying to explain the insanity of it all. And if you thought I did a good job, share this video with your friends and family members. If you thought I did a piss poor job, let me know. I, I'm not the best. I, I, I get things wrong just like any other human being. No one is perfect. But having you guys as, as people who hold me accountable is something that I appreciate deeply. And your comments and your constructive criticism means a lot to me. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys keeping me accountable for the many years that I've been doing this. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org. One more video right now on LukeUncensored.com.